all I've ever known since I was probably five years old. I knew I wanted to be a farmer. I used to ride in the tractor alongside of my dad. We feed the livestock, tend to them, bed them if they need them, treat the sick ones if they need treating. And then I feed them, make sure everybody lines up and eats with an open mouth and a good appetite. Appetite is needed here in the farming community where a typical day runs long with an endless amount of work. It's a world where family, hard work, and sacrifice come together. This whole area is a very rural you know, farming community. We have a lot of the same neighbors that my father, my grandfather, and and there's even a couple of guys that my great-grandfather knew, so it's a really close-knit farming community. For as long as any farmer could remember, waking up at the crack of dawn to tend to crops and livestock may not necessarily lead to a better day. I think if you're a farmer, you have to be an internal optimist. I mean, you have to think that there's better days to come. <clears throat> when, you're, when you're farming, obviously in the, the economy and the day and age we live in, everybody needs to make money because the world runs on money nowadays, but I think if you're a full-time farmer, I think it goes beyond that. I don't think anybody is farming just simply for the money and nothing else. There's a lot of heritage, you know, proud of our heritage, and you know, you want to continue the family tradition of farming. Like I mentioned, I'm the fifth generation, and it gives me a lot of pride and, and a lot of honor to be able to just Keep the, keep the farm in the family and keep the farm going. Keeping it going got a little bit tough this past summer when the Double G Angus Farm saw close to little rain to reward their hard work. It's always hard and there's always uncertainty. Uh, you know, uh, all summer long we weren't getting any rain. Uh, we had a pasture right over here, the creek ran dry. Cow still had pretty good grass but nowhere to drink, you know, so, so it's times like that we have to get creative. So what we were able to do is we laid a pipeline along the fence and we're able to, to pipe water to that group of cows. And I think when times get tough, you have to roll with the punches and, and get tough with it. There are certainly a lot of risk management tools that you can use to kind of offset some of the risk. Uh, there's there's some crop insurances available. But ultimately, uh, you, it's just a it's just a matter of good preparation and and always being aware that you could experience a, a dry year or a tough year and just being able to uh, manage the risks as they come along. There's always equipment maintenance and repair that has to be done, and you, you try to do that in the evening or on the rainy days and, and take advantage of the good weather and the good days. But, uh, yeah, uh, farming is no different than any other business. So the question of why continue with a career filled with so much uncertainty may be a different answer for each farmer. But for this farmer, it's all he's ever known. Reporting for Tiffin, Iowa, Muriel Kone, Daily Iowa TV.